The 120th Fighter Wing has developed a program to prepare their newest members for the challenges of basic training. Senior Master Sergeant Eric Peterson brings us a story of how the student flight leadership has helped new airmen adjust to the new dining experience they'll soon face at Lackland Air Force Base. Members of the 120th Fighter Wing student flight were able to taste a small portion of what life and basic training might be like during a recent guard drill. The new recruits can expect to be carefully scrutinized while they visit the dining facility at Lackland Air Force Base. Student flight leaders developed a scenario where they would portray training instructors during lunch. What we try to do is simulate training instructors asking questions. Everything that they're going to be responsible for at Lackland Air Force Base, we are trying to simulate here so that when they get there, their level of success is much higher. On this day, 25 members of the student flight participated in the exercise, which included forming a single file into the dining facility, signing in, and filling the tables properly during lunch. Take care of your trial runner. They go through that every day, three times a day. They do it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was a chow runner, and um, I had to come ask for permission for us to come eat our flight. And I had to direct traffic for where they would sit and got yelled at a lot and had to do push-ups. It was a good learning experience, that's for sure. Surveys are given to airmen when they complete their training and return to the unit. They're questioned on how well the program prepared them for basic training. Every single time they appreciate this training, they know it helps them be more successful at Lackland, and that's the key driver, is they want to be successful and they really enjoy it. The exercise was developed based upon common experiences of the student flight leadership. In Great Falls, Montana, this is Senior Master Sergeant Eric Peterson reporting for First Air Force Now.